they're just going to be there to observe, though. What are what are they spawning with? They've both got axe throwers. Axe readers. Okay, fast oh, units. Readers, I, I think they'll observe to see if they're going to make a rush. If, if, if a lot comes, I think they'll just run straight back across the bridge. Whether willingly or not, looks like they've made the decision now that they're going to have to scramble to defence C and uh, set up the B side. And then that, um, was it Jack's Child, weren't it? It was on the Hawatch and just got pulled off mm. by the mall player. Yeah. Uh, but it's, I suppose it's not too bad. They didn't really lose any units no. for it, to be fair. No. It's just them two players have to be slightly more careful than, than they would have been, maybe. Very little yeah. cavalry. There is very little cavalry. Like oh, there's say. some there's ballistas coming there. up on the stairwell here. Dealer's setting up a ballista there. We've got a couple of different pieces of artillery. Is that interesting? They've already Pongard... built a chunk of artillery yeah. as well. When Pongard were defending Wolford in their last match, they were on the receiving end of Titans putting a significant amount of artillery on that wall. Four mortars went up on that, and that's where they really suppressed them. So you would think either yeah. they've decided that it wasn't worth it, because obviously they they still managed to win that match, but it, you kind of would think they, they must be aware of that as a potential strategy that they could yeah, want yeah. to include. Just, so. a, just a, a large whole scale fight breaking out on the sea point now. Look, Real a lot of fourth of is here. there. Check are doing pretty well so far, though. Oh, that the was Treps a... are going to be dangerous, though. That was brutal. That musket uh, yeah. Reap sent his his cavalry straight into a, a braced set of halberdiers. That did not go to plan, so that's... <laughs> Never fun, Oof. is it? <laughs> that's Looks rough. Like Pongard are kind of rolling the flank a little bit in the north, though. More so. Yeah, they're like struggling more in the south. The There's a Treb strike yeah. coming in there. Ooh. And Krebs, though, on the the, the, the northeastern side, if you like, towards the supply of the yeah. work there. Yeah. Oh, unlucky. <laughs> yeah, to get a pick Project on did win the engagement. Yeah, I think they might have got enough. Really down ten here. heroes to. There's, there's, they've lost five, yeah. six, in fact, now from <laughs> from yet. Yeah. For, Nothing essentially, you know. They've, they've made. They haven't really got a foothold here. They've used no. a couple of trebs, and they've not really got much to show for it. Here comes the second push. There they go. Yeah. yeah it looks like this is it. Straight on the sea again as well. They Straight have a great shot out. Oh yep, yeah, they've just sort of. Oh. Pulled a couple of units. Oh, they're going resupply. Oh no, they've. They... Yep, they've. Oh, this, so this was a bit of a switch. feint. So they've. They've gone for a bit of a feint there. This, Jack, so ah, uh, reacting very quickly though. Yeah, this they was something there. they did before. So this was in their last Wolfort game. Pongard did exactly the same thing, where they all clustered together at the gates, uh, straight ahead of C, uh, began their charge, and then immediately pivoted to the side flank, and they sort of fainted to uh, to try. Now and going back towards C, look, they're going to use the majority the, by the looks of it to block ah, off and the they're supply using that, reinforcements. They're using that treb yeah. to, to pin them in the supply point. So now it's down to. To uh, Hayes and Daddy. Oh, and here comes the all Cav people. look all around the back. Cav, the yeah. armor is going in behind the lines, trying to get onto some of those Falconetti. Yeah, Pongard have done really well there to cut off the resupply. They've completely outnumbered the guys that are on the C point. Yeah, got so they can run in rough shot in the back lines that they can't just do. Like the defenders have to deal with them before they can get onto the C point. Yeah. Oh, that's that's a really, really strong foothold they've got there. Let's see if Pongard can convert this into something a little bit more meaningful and get themselves that point. Oh, oh wow, they're trebbing towards the... I would have suspected them to treb the, the supply side there. That yeah, a that's a pretty significant object. blob there, mm -hmm. but I think maybe the the medals that are on C are pretty pretty tough, so maybe they're trying to sort of shake those formations and get a couple yeah, of pits. Yeah, they're not careful though, yet that, that massive yet reinforcement blob is going to break out. Look, Hazar's Them coming in Hazar across the charge. point. That was huge. That just got like 80 kills, I yeah. think. I think they could have pulled it back again, possibly. Yeah, unit-wise, they're about 100 ahead now, and yeah. until that Winged Hazar charge went through, it was actually very stable. The Winged Hazar's very much did arrive. I think that was Toaster, weren't it? Oh wait, I'll look at the one Yeah, and they've pretty much cleared them out from the point. Look at the amount of medals they've got. If, if there's any question, is, is Madao currently a, a, a meta unit in the game? You only have to look how many we are seeing in this tournament at the moment. Yeah, they are absolutely, yeah, held again. absolutely a, a, a high priority pick here. Yeah, yeah. That might be a nice trip on the stairs, potentially. Yeah, there's a lot of medals there, so if they do decide to try and fall back, that's going to be... Oh, that's not going to be good. Oh, oh! Oh, yeah. Ow. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, that's that's scared them off a little bit. Just being mortared is just like a pain, isn't it? Here it comes, though. Moving Here comes now, the third though. and final push, probably. Osho still got the majority of his wing dissars up by the looks of it as well, so he can get a very good. And he's starting to move already. And their great shot set up at the back from Pongard. Two, three, four, five great shots, I think, being built now. And they've got the trebuchet there on the uh, southwest. Well, look where going with the wing yep. dissars as well. He's going to come straight from behind. There's going to be yeah, no defense. He's going to clear this push. Four. Billion IQ flank here with those hussars. This is going to be massive. Watch this. Oh dear. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Diagonal. They've got, to move their, they've got to get yeah. themselves out of there because it's not looking good. It is not. Although I think somebody got a cow drop down. And then that 13, cross 13 charge. The there. Yeah, it's all evened like, up, but. Yeah, I feel like Yek could push in though, a clearing through the remains. Yek, Yek have won that fight. They just got, I think, like 300 or 400 unit kills. Mm. And I think, how many did Tosho just get there with that charge? Because that would look massive. He's that's on nice. 88 now. That's that's a sizable chunk. Behind the wall, some units sort of on the little fenced area on the right. They kind of had a little bit everywhere, and then whenever a push came, they sort of collapsed from the three angles onto the C point. And that's a huge blob of eject. They are. <laughs> All those pike militia. <laughs> Zerg. That is terrifying. Absolute mother of all Zergs. Oh, uh, and that, that trebuchet would have been the spot to call it in a minute ago, but they've they've covered so much ground now. They're making such terrifying advances that it doesn't look good. <laughs> They're trying to get these it's artillery too... down. It's you've got fifteen seconds, you're gonna give them <laughs> one one grape shot canister. That is Oh dear. That was a very good imp uh, good performance from Jack though. They played that so yeah, well. Superb, yeah, absolutely. They played that. They were cool, calm, and collected. They didn't falter, and uh, yeah. they take the win as a result. I just realized Jack finished that battle with multiple longswords. They had yeah. a number of longswords out at the end there. I literally just seen it on the, le the, like, the last few seconds across the whole line that, <laughs> that yeah. Pongard had set up. That was, that was a tasty charge. 27 to 15 hero kills. Yek took 27. Pongard took 15. So it was a scrappy, scrappy match. Uh, difference as well. Look at uh, Jack. They've got mainly mortars, a couple mm -hmm. of great shots, a couple Lots of, cannons. of cannons from Pongard here and Culverin. So they're looking for that accurate long range fire that they're going to start to sort of. I think they've, they've, the fight is going to happen. That, that little B supply yeah. over there. They're climbing yeah, up the ladders. Oh, ladders getting kicked down. Are they going to make the push or are they going to bail? On guard had five uh, heroes starting over there as well. So yeah, they've so, got I mean, there's going to be a quite a bit of here. stuff there. Look, but um, yet yeah, pushing troops over the wall. Much leadership down the drain, unless Ooh, that trip starts hitting all the uh, javelins. Ooh. Oh, that's that's tough. That's a tough. Yeah, that's, that's a tough trip. That, that was painful. Yeah. <laughs> that will yep, absolutely. They'll be able to take it down. I don't think we can hear. They're not got time. They'll, they'll, they'll lose too much. There goes a siege across. tower over there on the northeast. It's not that long, they've not even got a tower. Drink and sell a There we go, yeah, Falcon there we go. Yeah, down. The javelins good. are in there for the last. Oh, there you go. oh Falcon is point blank. Breaking in the, the A. Oh, push. yeah, main. main. Oh, well, no, we don't, don't like the look they, of that. They, they hesitated, yeah. <laughs> they, they hesitated. <laughs> they had a look through that gate and thought, oh, no, thank you. A, a, a sharp 180 from that. They were yes. like, oh, we are out of there. That is no good. Thank you very much. I wonder if that would have been the time, though, to try and sneak a guy through to go straight up to B. I know we can see the criticals there, the, the pole axe. Uh, I think it depends yeah. who you send, really. Push is coming okay, now, a, though. Good... They don't have a dual blade to go up there, but if they can maybe, like, the spear guy there... Yeah. They are making well, a gate push. Look, I, I can, can't yeah. imagine that's going to go... Now, they're sandwiched on both well. sides. On okay, guard, so. we've got Isn't everything. It? Yeah. But then again, you know, they're not doing too badly. Yeah, they're not being wiped out, but I think Pongard are now starting to scramble their their heroes here as well. There's a few people yeah. still on sort of tower watch, but for the most part, yeah. I think they're Jack starting to sending to... heroes up to B now. Yeah, there you go. They've got two short yep. swords going up to B. They've lost the, the the gate fight though, and luckily for them, critical the Polax that was upon the B side just jumped off the wall. Yeah, so he's just two guys he's just been on B back to the to the defense, but I think that's actually now bought Jack a little bit of time. And uh, yeah. they'll see what they've they can do. They've got four guys up on the B side now. Oh no, one turned around, so they've got three guys for the maximum cap speed. Although the, the musket's not gone up, he's going to try ninja cap A, I think. 
That's it's going to buy yeah. them time. That's the main thing. Isn't Maximum it? caffeine speed. So if you've got more than three on a caffeine point, the, the, the ideal thing to do is, if you've got more guys there, you just leave three on and everyone else yeah. pushes past to stop the enemy, like the defenders, getting back onto the cap. That longbow, so he might be able to put down some damage on anyone trying to muster at that supply point, so... Oh, there's a treb coming good in. as well on the A point, yeah. Oh, that's a tasty that's... treb. That's going to do some big damage, even even in heavy armor. On, I think on guard are pulling back now. On guard have decided to, to mm. cut their losses. They're going to give them A and set up on C. Yeah. Good shout yeah. because if they would have tried defending both, they would have basically lost both. Because yeah. you can't not going to lie when they didn't push over the bridge to get B. I thought like, how are they going to do this now? On okay. C now. Yep, they're looking like they're coming over from the west side, and uh, they're. They're calling in that treb. Ah, oh, that mortar. You just built it. Ah, oh, you just built it. <laughs> With their units towards C. Well, they're pushing in now. Got a lot of Falconetti coming back from... Uh, there we go. Shots coming out from Pongard, though. Onto that C those, point from the back. They got those Iron Reapers defending while they build the... Uh... That treb's good. Between oh, supply yeah. and C, that's going to catch that's out gonna cut IPGs off. by the looks of it. Yeah, anyone anyone trying to get back onto that C point from the supply oh, point is going to be in trouble. That just did a number on an IPG unit. And now look at this. This is a complete brawl. There are just heroes upon yeah. heroes, and the line of battle's been drawn, and they are battling over this flag. Yet are going to have such a tough time pushing them off Pond this Pongard reacted to that very well. Yeah, Pongard have really swarmed forward and put up a very valiant defense here. So it's going to be interesting to see what uh, what units Pongard could bring out here that they're going to be able to maybe spell the difference and might make or break this. Nice to see the Watson at the back with his Cyclonian well. militia getting some good... Absolutely, yeah. Our, 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 yeah. Our, our wonderful... Units is very even though, very, mm -hmm. very even. Yeah, Although, Jack the starting to lose heroes now, they're down to 11. Yeah, I'm surprised oh, at how many trip if... shots they have left here. I I, I think... If I, I were pond guard... Blue units rush out, they're like, <laughs> oh, coming. right, okay, are yeah, they whoops. Going supply, or are they going to do some sort they, of switch? Is, switch is this going to be a here? feint? Yeah, yeah, this might be a... Okay, so I they're, doing, they're calling the thing. treb, and then I think they're going to have to... This is interesting. They've only got three minutes, so they, they have to get... Ah, oh, that Treb hasn't point. done very much for them, unfortunately. They've only They're got two left Jack's now. Child. Jack's Child's going in now with... Is that Wing Tassars? Yeah, Wing Tassars against the Outriders. Okay, that sounds like it should be pretty strongly in favour of the Hussars. Outriders Hussars are very fragile. Hussars charge, though. Okay. Have we got four Brachio from the oh. point? Oh, uh, they can. charge through some of the Madau before they got to Brace. Okay. C point is open, so if one of the jet guys gets it, oh no, critical's on there now. Okay, that treb's coming in on that big blob of uh, pom guard units. Yeah, it's a little bit danger close though if they're not careful. That is. So. I think that's unless that new unit and Modal run into it. A little bit. Yeah. I yeah, think that, that, was, did, I did, I think that did more friendly fire. <laughs> yeah. On C though, toxic. Toxic and child are on there. If they criticals stop, trying, oh, to, trying to get in his body on the point, and Watson's there too. Watson on the there. grape shot there, he just jumped straight off the wall. He's like, nah, I'm stopping this. That's it. <laughs> this is going to go to field battle. That treb looks good, though. That is on a big blob of red. Yeah, that's a tasty treb. I, don't, I think that's yeah. a little bit too late, though. That's the last treb as well. That's yeah, it. So that was... anymore, but still. I mean, they squandered two before. I mean, I say squandered. There, there was sound reasoning behind why they called them in, but it felt like they didn't get very much from those. So they definitely no. got the value out of that last treb. So at least they can feel a bit more reassured about that. But now 90 seconds on the clock, it is a complete brawl. It's just get as many bodies on the point as you can and hope that you... Yeah. <laughs> that you on can guard, no, they've out. got this now. They're... That's it. And that, so that's the allure of the grape shots. So I can see why they're so keen to get them together. Let's have some of that the funniest was... kills, doesn't it? The grape shot kills. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing quite like it. But there we go, Pond Guard tie it up, it's one to one. And uh Toasty was... Cruncher as well. Four zero five and hundred and thirty eight units. He did work. Well. I mean yeah. left no lead, sorry, for Pond Guard's got the lowest unit kills by by a long way, but he's got a lot of assists. The last two one their tiebreaker against Invictus here on Grassland. Can they repeat it? Can lightning strike in the same place twice? Or Will the pond guard wash them away? Can he be washed away by a pond? We're about to find out. <laughs> yeah, they are yeah, all pushing B. Yep, this looks like a complete. Although Jackson is going to get C for free, mm -hmm. basically, and 
the supply that points. Bark, bark check looks like he might be able to get A as well. Although it's going to be Yuki hide against Bark Bark for A. And Jack to get in B as well. So Pongar, they're going to have to react here because if they get A yeah. down as well now, it's GG almost instantly. But, yeah, they can't be playing too passively. They, they, yeah, yeah. They're absolutely. I think a very, very high pressure moment here where, where PG have really got to step up because, I mean, Yuki's, Yuki's very valiantly attempting to go up against uh bark bark but i mean heavy armor against the dual blade user if you if you get grabbed oh dear as well because his yeah. unit's almost completely in child in the back door oh my goodness he's making a push for it watson the hero the hero from last time once again throwing himself onto the objective how does he do it <laughs> it's always there right it? place. watson is still playing long blow as well yeah he is he absolutely is there you go, folks. The most shocking thing you can do in a tournament match is just play the objective. On guard are in trouble now, though, because Bark Bark's <laughs> easily going to be able to get A capped, and yeah, they're not going to get B by the looks of it. B looks very stable for Jack. Pond guard are sending, sending a, a few, I, no, just one person to A, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Pian. So, Pian's not got a unit, has he? As, as I was saying at the start, you know, obviously I, I think um, Jack are going to be winning this one, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely feel like I'm changing my prediction yeah. <laughs> now. Veterancy, they've they've had they've had a match here before, they've had a tiebreaker here before, and it looks like it might be the difference. Bark Bark getting forced off by a sizable pond guard. Which is all very well and good, but unfortunately B is not in that, so you're still at a bit of a disadvantage. So they're gonna want to be yeah. either rotating all the way round to C, which is gonna be a, a tough a tough call trying to sort of get around on the flank and sort of plink away at, at uh v for kick and captain but uh doesn't but look like are now building a lot of mortars but watson's on the case it's longbow versus longbow here with a bow off a is wide open as well if jack can get a yeah, guy up there to, to get on the map that's gonna Echo Jackson's going on a flank as well he's like literally on another map almost you know if pongard got on the end point they've got palace guards well, the owls could clear them out, and then you might be able to get another couple of percent cap on there as well. It's possible. You Pongard never know. is making I mean, a big push, though. A unit there. I think Pongard were just too oh. passive at the start. That was their problem. And if Jack Jack have got flamey boys up there as well, so they've got the Sifferophanoi, oh. and they're going to be able to do work against that blob. Yeah, that's. Although that ICG advance just flattened them. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh, calf from behind. Oh, nice! That was a good flank. Yeah, that and was nice. And then you see Sakai big. as well with his palace guard with the charge. They're going to do work. Although straight into a Kaltrop. Unit wise, Pongard is starting to claw it yeah, back. Pond, yeah, Pongard. I'm seeing a lot more red than blue at the moment here on B, which is looking good. And they've still, you know, they've got a couple of defenders. Looks like someone's Michael flanking Jackson, from though. northwest of B. Yeah, looks like someone's coming in. That's, that's Jackson with his Liao. P Pian's oh, trying to stop the, the Liao's with his hero. But his unit's nowhere near. But he's managed to stun the majority of the Liao's Rangers. dying on the yeah. point, as long along with Child. Noble effort there from them to try and hold on to B. But this is going to buy nice. time for PG. They've yeah. punched Jekt through. Jekt have just lost six or seven guys, though. If PG yeah, do a strong push on home point now, they might be able to roll them out of the way. And they might... But there we go. So Pondgard were doing a little probe on C. They're, 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 they're That's defending as well. They're, they, they, the ball's in their court. All they have to do is sit and wait at the minute. They don't have to actually do anything because they've, yeah, they've they got, can... what, two, two and a half percent off the... Shooting for goal mistake. so many times. Yeah, two and a half percent is not much. That's a split second on the point, really. So you've got Michael to Michael Jackson as well. Looks like he's going to go Ninja Cat B by the looks of it. I can't see if there's a unit on B. There isn't a unit on B, so he's going to get that basically for free. The big fight, though, is on the Southern Supply. Reap's looking a little bit out of position here. He is running for his life. You do not want to be... <laughs> that is Jekt country. You can't stay there. You've got to go. <laughs> I think Pongard is going to win that fight at that supply, though. They've got a lot more that, units. That is a lot of that is a lot of bodies there on that point. And if, if I was at that Jekt base flag right now, I'd be feeling slightly concerned because they could yeah. pivot to go to C. But I think, honestly, if you're going to if you're going to win this fight at the supply point, I would just then immediately roll that momentum forward, target that base camp, try and get... Yeah. Just, just three, four percent, just to, just to completely flip this game on its head and just sort of say, right, your move. Admiring uh, the, the discipline of Yekdo to leave those palace guards on the C point, you know, they must be very tempting yeah. to draw them into the fight, so but they know tempting. someone will ninja cap it if they do, so they're holding them there. 
Definitely, definitely. Great self restraint. That's Captain Jack's unit, isn't it? He's yeah, he's left them on that. I think he's looking though. If he can get a charge off at the right time and maybe himself stay on the point, he might be able to turn that fight. So I think it's a bit of a one where every, no one's going to be left standing. It's just sort of <laughs> yeah. they're just going to be a pile Mon of bodies. The they're down to nine. Pongard are down yeah, to Mon nine versus lost a Jack's lot of heroes. fifteen. So yeah, good point. Yeah, a lot of them got killed there. We've sent four back to the resupply. I think clearing Dex are that point to that. is going to be hard. You know, with one minute forty, they're going to you know um, yet upon guard. They've only got a minute thirty though, so whatever they're going to do, gonna, yeah. I don't know if they're going to be able to clear that in a minute thirty. No, it's like don't... a couple of them are leading a charge in to try and at least get a foothold there. Easy peasy in the middle with Dealer. The prefect guard trying to well. flank. Check ties with the surfs there, he's doing work. <laughs> flower with the Armigers. Was that Flower with the Armigers? Is that Pike Militia there with Maximus or is that Halberdiers? No, that's Watson with the Armigers. He's gonna do a good get a good charge off now from the rear. Oh, here they come. I think Jack oh, got nice. too many heroes there okay. to even let them cap though, haven't they? So Jack's they have lost really their first 49 hero. seconds, I just can't see it happening. There's a fight going on on C as well, though. So if Pongard's Toasty Crunch, oh, looks like he's pulled. Oh no! Just, to, just have a When's Jack still up there with his Palace Guards? Leeds just Pine's taken out. Uh... Jack have got too many heroes. Like they've definitely got at them outnumbered on the point. There's a lot more units from. Yeah, given, given oh, here comes a charge from Leeds. Oh, it's going to be close. They might do it. You know. Oh my goodness! There's Come so on. many bodies on the point. You just They're only down to five point. units oh, as well. Oh, 15, my oh, they've, they've, won. They've, won. they've won. They've won. Oh, oh my god. Oh my goodness. And they've taken it. Ten, ten seconds left. Outrageous <laughs> push. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Hongard have done the impossible and they, they have. have stolen victory from the jaws of defeat. <laughs> oh my That was goodness. ridiculous. Like, I thought there's no way they're getting that yeah. in that time. There's Same. no way. Always had faith oh. in them. Always had faith in them. Never, <laughs> never faltered. Never faltered. <laughs> they didn't really have a lot of choice, I don't feel. Mm, We've at least absolutely. built the palace guards on the C point. Um, it was just that final defense. I don't think they could quite get it together. It became a bit clutch.